Well, I just bought this Jeep. <laughs> Little side hustle, you know. Um, Grand Cherokee, 1994, 5.2 liter V8. 143,000 miles. She gets it. She ain't afraid to mob. Seriously though, this thing was uh, one family owned its entire life and it's super clean. And I put it in four low and I don't think it's ever been in four low. Um, Cause that all needs to be broken in it feels. Anyways, such a fun little side Jeep for a little while. And we're gonna build this into a crawler eventually. We'll mob around the next month until the Gladiator's done. We'll mob it this winter when we come to Expo West again. Um, and we'll mob it at the property and use it as a way to haul supplies back and forth to the property when the uh, Gladiator is a camper. And we're gonna build it into a crawler for King of Hammers 2022, baby. Yeah! This video is not sponsored by Optima. I just love Optima batteries. Ooh. All right, everyone. Well, I'm excited to show you the new old Jeep. Um, I mainly got this Jeep because the Gladiator overall I've been in the shop a couple months and I uh, just needed something to drive around. It was a really good deal. Um, like I just said in the intro, single family owned 143,000 miles and it's got the 5.2 liter V8. So a little backstory, my buddy Roy uh, is the guy who really got me into rock crawling in the sense that he was my spotter and he was the guy that I always trusted who said, oh, you can make it through this or don't go through that. And he has a, still to this day, a Jeep Grand Cherokee ZJ. It's got the 5.9 liter Hemi. So I've always loved this rig for that. It is a unibody, which isn't super cool for rock crawling, but there's good frame stiffeners and really good long arm kits from like Clayton and Grand Cherokee, baby. CJ, what, what you know about that, CJ? Zigzagging on me. I was all the way into there, open, open, so you should be good. Oh, wow, that sounded cool. Yeah, little, little rock movements. So I bought this rig on a Tuesday. And I woke up Wednesday morning and my buddy Matt, Jamie Sandbox, uh, gave me a call and said, hey, there's this off-road swap meet that you gotta come to this weekend in Johns Valley. And I was like, you're right, I do have to come to that. It sounds great. So uh, a couple days later, I put in a new battery and I did some things and I also failed emissions, which we'll talk about later. But I drove out to California for the off-road swap meet. So I've really enjoyed driving this rig and the next couple episodes, I'm gonna show you the first few experiences with this. And I'm also excited to show you guys how you can overland in a stock vehicle um, just with good gear. I mean, that's really all it's about. It's not about having a super expensive trick vehicle. It's just about having good gear. And a lot of the times that ends up being on the vehicle or a part of the vehicle, but it doesn't have to. And your gear can be universal throughout your rig. For example, these Step 22 bags. Man, um, been loving those, just throwing stuff throughout here. I got all sorts of stuff in here right now. So anyways, we'll talk a lot about that and I'm really excited for some videos that we can make in the old Grand Cherokee here. Had to give tribute to the King of the Ham Hams. Wouldn't have had this thing without it. She runs so good. Oh, I 
love this V8. <laughs> Rear lamp failure. Yeah, I know. Perform service. Nah, we just did. Silly. They just didn't uh, update it when we got our oil change here. So I've almost put 1,500 miles on this thing. And as you can see, or here, it's a lot louder. Um, so basically when I first got it, uh, we went through some drama with emissions and things like that that I'll talk about in the next video when I fail the missions. So we have had some issues with the thing. I mean, small stuff, we had to put a new battery and then it, we had to cut the exhaust But up, the main so. thing was breaking down in Sedona. So we're gonna go through that in the next couple of videos. And um, but let's talk about long-term plans with this truck. So we've got the off-grid property up north. And when we've got the Mobicon and the Jeep Gladiator camper all done, uh, the idea is that we could use this thing to run back and forth to town and grab supplies and stuff like that. Um, also to have as a wheeling rig for King of Hammers certain times of the year where maybe I'll come back to Arizona and grab it. Haven't really figured out long-term plans and solutions as far as that goes quite yet. But um, either way, really excited for how this rig can turn out. So first couple mods, I contacted Warren right away and they were super stoked. Uh, Andy was super stoked to uh, get a winch on this thing. So we've got a Warren VR we're gonna put on here uh, and we're gonna put that in trail ready front bumper and a trail ready rear bumper as well. Really like the trail ready bumpers. They're super strong, but they're just super sleek as well. So excited. Uh, for this vehicle and just feel very fortunate to be able to have this temporary uh, little vehicle at the time. But let me know what you think of the 1994 Jeep Grand Cherokee ZJ. Our historic plates are on the way. Super fun to have a vehicle that's 27 years old that runs well and it's just super classic. Like it kind of feels like a blast from the past. It's even got the stock radio dash and uh, everything like that. So it's I don't know, it's fun. And people I talked to that had these back in the day, some people, some of my friends that were like, oh, that was my first Jeep or my first vehicle. Um, it was so luxurious at the time and the Grand Cherokee, and even though it's not the Limited or Laredo. Um, but anyways, comment, let me know what you think of this old beast, the V8. So excited to turn this into a crawler here. Hit the like if you like it. And uh, check out my Patreon if you want some behind the scenes footage as well as to support the channel but uh thank so, you guys for watching so excited to share more adventures in this thing the only question is are you 